Okay, we've completed the payroll register. We've journalized the payroll register and we've paid the employees. Now we want to calculate and journalize the employer's payroll expenses. So we take a look up here, the upper part of the problem. It points out here that this is um, federally required unemployment tax, federal unemployment tax, and state unemployment tax uh, are due. But there's only a limit on the first $7,000 of wages that, that any employee earns. After that, there is no more tax calculated on it. We have a limit on Social Security income. Each employee is only required to pay Social Security tax on the first $117,000 of earnings. Thereafter, they're not taxed, and thereafter, therefore, the employer doesn't have to match it anymore. So, let's move on to doing the calculations. So, we have one more here. The employer paid health insurance of $200 per employee per payroll period. Okay, so let's go down to the problem. Now, the first thing that we want to do here, we know, we'll start from the top here, okay? So, this is on July 3rd, 3rd and this is payroll tax expense. Okay, now we don't know what that is yet, so let's just go ahead and calculate all the liabilities that we have. We've got Social Security payable, and next is Medicare payable, employer matching. Thereafter, we have FUTA, Federal Unemployment Tax Payable, and SUTA, State Unemployment Tax Payable. And after that, we have an employment contract with all of our employees, or this company does, uh, for paying, let's see, we've got here $200 per employee per payroll period for health insurance, so health insurance payable. So let's go back. The easy one here, we have Social Security payable. We are just matching that. So that's going to be equals what was withheld from the employee, 270.23 equals 70.45. That was withheld from Medicare. Now, FUTA table, payable, and SUTA payable, we have to go to the payroll register and take a look here. We had each employee that was under 7,000, we have to pay unemployment tax on. So we have Nelda here at 6,700. We have Earl at 6,600. Okay, those two we're going to have to pay unemployment tax on. So let's go ahead and use our little calculation section over here. We're going to go Nelda. Okay, we've got $300 before she hits 7000 Okay, when she hits 7000 we don't owe any more unemployment tax on her. And then Earl, Earl is at uh, 6600 so he's only going to have taxable of 400 You notice that their pay, their gross pay is over 495 gross pay, only 300 taxable. Okay, we got 490 gross pay. Uh, only 400 is under. Only 400 is taxable. So then we've got here. I'll add those up. So that comes to 700. A little underscore there. Okay, so we got 700 is taxable. Now, so for FUTA. The, the rate for that is 0 0.008. Okay, it says FUTA is 0.8%, which is 0 0.008. Okay, so that's going to be equals 0 0.008 times 700. So FUTA is going to be five, $5.60, and SUTA, that is, SUTA is 4%. Okay, 4%. So come back down here. That's going to equals 0 0.04 times 700. So there's our FUTA and SUTA. Okay, so we're at $28. So SUTA is 28 and FUTA is 560. Okay, our health insurance payable is $200 per employee. Uh, per payroll period, so there's four employees, so that's going to be $800. So now we can calculate our payroll tax expense. So that's going to do my little auto sum here, and come down and grab that box, 
that adds them all up. So I've got payroll tax expense of 1171.28 that the employer is paying that the employee never sees and appreciates, of course, uh, but indeed an employer payroll expense. So there we go. And then our explanation, employer payroll expense for June 30th payroll. 